We're cooking together. We're making chicken fajitas and I'm gonna show you a super cool sauce. It's gonna be high protein and delicious, which is most important. Hi, beautiful. I'm gonna break down the calories for y'all because I know that that's a question that I get asked all of the time. So we're gonna make two options today. We're gonna make a chicken fajita bowl with rice. Uh, I like adding veggies to our rice to make sure that we have enough veggies on there as well. So it's a good way to sneak in some veggies. But I also like my extreme wellness tortillas, which if you don't know, it's these. And they are a lower calorie, high protein. Love these. So we're gonna make a bowl with rice, veggies, and the chicken and the sauce. And I'm going to make another option to show you a quesadilla with some cheese to show you that you can still have the things that you like without cutting stuff out. So you decide to do uh, what we're gonna do today, which is gonna be seven ounces of chicken per serving. And I'm making, um, 14 ounces for me and my husband but if you decide to do that split it into two seven ounces of chicken breast we're gonna use some olive oil some kosher salt jasmine rice i usually do jasmine rice 150 grams cooked um and then i we're gonna make that cilantro sauce which i'm gonna show you it's delicious that dinner would come out to 501 calories and 43 grams of carbs perfect 11.8 grams of fat and 51.4 grams of protein so if you decide to do it with the rice you're looking at a 501 calories let's say that you decide to go with the option of the extreme wellness tortilla which is one tortilla and a serving of the shredded fat-free mozzarella cheese and i did one serving of that which is 28 grams you're looking at 401 calories so significantly lower calories 17 grams of carbs 12.9 grams of fat and 61 grams of protein because the cheese has protein and the tortilla also has protein so we're gonna start with the sauce first girl the top it's a set bestie look at how cute She's looking good. She looks good. The ninja one, she's a little loud, but she's worth it. She's very powerful. I'm gonna use this. So I don't know, we got two of these. One that was two, um, what's it called? Uh, 2% and this one is 0%. All right. Have you ever tried a plain Greek yogurt in eggs? I don't choose violence like that, Bessie. I've tried Kotosh. We're gonna put this into the little blender moment. I'm getting nervous. I'm trying to be a better chef, y'all, and it's hard. She has been practicing. Um, I like Greek yogurt, but not plain. I do two garlic cloves for this. Let's see. Thank you, Bessie. <laughs> I dropped something. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of cilantro, salt, pepper, and some water. I'm sorry. The cleanup crew is on it. All right. I need to weigh the mayo. Mayo is first because I forgot to write it down. Here's how I measure stuff, okay? Zero it out, put it on grams, put it right there, zero it out again, and now we're gonna weigh 30 grams of this old girl right here. This is light mayo. This recipe came out so delicious, y'all. This much. Yeah, so. That's much okay. Let's put it in there. All right, we're Let's just put gonna in. put it in there. Add some salt and pepper, like that. Okay, pepper ah, right here, like that much. That much? You yeah. Didn't put any. I did. Look, we're gonna add water, like a little bit of water, uh, like that much. Yeah, and a lime. And a lime? Oh, I have to get out a lime. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Half a lime. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and lime, lime or lemon. Is, but lime is, I like lime, lime or lemon? Better. Yeah, I like lime better. It's, it's, it's a little bit more sour. Yeah, my man likes lime. Shake it, right? All right. You know what I like about this one is that it has ventosas at the bottom. Um, she sticks here. 
Love it. I love this thing. Before my man decided to invest in like better equipment, I was buying like $10 equipment. <laughs> and now my man is like, no girl. Just try it. This oh, you want me to try it? Oh yeah, I was about to put it in the dirty thing. I like trying things. Mm, I think it's good. Maybe a little bit of salt. I think it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Also, wash your things right away so that this doesn't crust over. Okay? Try to use this one instead. Oh, like a little one? Yeah, I think it's gonna be... My man is coming through with the tools. He's like, I see you struggling. I, I don't know why you always go through that one. <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> one! <laughs> Here we go, bebe. Look at it. Are you kidding? That is amazing consistency. Actually, a little liquid. It's for me. You think it's a little liquidy? It's okay, bro. It's okay. It's good. Why are you crushing my freaking dreams? <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, I love it. Jesus. I'm over here proud of myself, and he's like, it's actually a little too liquidy. <laughs> like, bite me. <laughs> uh, That's the payback for dropping everything. <laughs> That's the payback for dropping everything. Future Adagay's problem. Look at it. She's beautiful. Okay? And you can put this on a lot of stuff. And it's going to make it taste really good. So, just FYI, if you're not a fan of Greek yogurt, it tastes like um, Greek yogurt with cilantro. But it's delicious. And we've really been liking this. It's the time to put my pan to heat up, right? Mm -hmm. You said it a stem. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you're going to grab your chicken. Thank you, bestie. Gracias. I'm gonna run through the ingredients that this has. So that's 14 ounces of chicken, half a tablespoon of onion powder, an eighth, <laughs> I think it's this one, yes. an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of paprika. So one thing that we were discussing, and I'll go through this when we're done, is we don't use consomme. Um... That paprika is gonna give it some color, he said, quote. Oregano, we're gonna do Mexican oregano. Crush it up a little bit. Half a teaspoon of sugar for some color. An eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of kosher salt. And then we decided to try MSG as well. That's a conversation my husband will talk to you about because I don't know the difference between MSG and salt, but my husband does. It has less sodium. Should I put the whole thing in? Yeah. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. A half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. MSG. MSG has less sodium considered to salt and we trying to watch our high blood pressure over here, so. Tiny whisket. Does anybody know where... I dropped some. It is, so we don't use consomme because it does have a lot of sodium for a very small amount. Um, like we were looking at it and like half a teaspoon has like 860 milligrams of sodium. My goal is like 2000 milligrams of sodium a day. So here he said, this is where I'm going to get my hands dirty and you only want to get one of your hands dirty here. So you're going to do dry method, dry hand, <laughs> wet hand method. <laughs> I don't know where you get that from, but no. <laughs> Just be careful, little by little. Okay, he said little by little. Little by little, he said. And then start mixing it up. I'm teaching you how to cook, even though I don't know. But I'm being taught at the same time. So we're learning together to feed ourselves high-protein meals, healthier, you know? You know what I forgot to do? You're going to hate me so much. I forgot to put the oil! Okay, do you want me to put the oil now? Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. Just, I mean, stop that. Put stop the this. Put the oil. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm so sad. It's one teaspoon of olive oil. I was doing so good. Yeah, but it's not that deep. It is deep for me, bestie. Um, I have PTSD with the kitchen, to be honest with you. I used to cook all the time. I used to cook all the time. And then one time I almost burned down our apartment. 
and I kind of started to get scared of like cooking and uh, being around the kitchen and I started overthinking everything so it's been over a year I think since the last time that I actually like was like comfortable cooking by myself I think it's understandable and we just kind of like have to understand that also if you grew up in a household where every time that you would cook somebody will tell you like you did it wrong I think that it's understandable for you to have some feelings about cooking so let's just be compassionate for each other because <laughs> i would cook my for my mom some lunch and then she would come back like you made this again like girl be freaking grateful that i made you lunch i'm the kid here you know right, we're gonna cover this one you can let it marinate you don't have to let it marinate but we prefer to leave it like rest for a little bit so you can grab all of the flavors here we go through the magic of tv i'm gonna take the one that's in the fridge <laughs> that's already marinated da -da -da -da. all right besties he's gonna move the camera for me now <laughs> so you're not gonna look at him Focus on me. I'm the captain. <laughs> We're gonna do some olive oil and I'm gonna brush it. All right, and with my favorite brush, <laughs> we're gonna brush it. Um, and uh, just to use less oil, let's just use olive oil. Pour it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, hurry up. Oh, it is high. There we go. Put the fire on this one out of four, she said, so we can make our quesadilla. Did I turn up both? <laughs> we struggle to know when the chicken is cooked too. I mean, it should be. It should be. It should be cooked. Yeah. Just go ahead and pour the. Pour the veggies in. And toss it. Toss it. Okay. Here we go. Eight. Oh, I have to mix it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> That's the one? Yeah, right? Just let it cook yeah. for a bit. Okay. Lower? Like at a six? Yeah. Okay. We're getting softer. Yeah, that That's what we want. Yeah. 150 grams. It has some veggies. Por que no me decís? <laughs> no, it's not burning. Okay, It's looking good the veggies are getting softer i like to brown it a little bit you know how they do like in the saquerias and like they brown the cheese um and then we're gonna grab the tortilla girl like that's my man and then just put it out there flatten it out you know si me queme look look me queme bien feo i'm sorry ow burns go ahead and please Si se está pegando la tortilla. It's gonna be so good. Okay, I'm excited. You know when it itches when you hurt yourself? That's how I feel right now. It itches. Is there something cold I can put on my? <laughs> it's my ice roller for my face. Ah, oh, that feels so good. You're looking at 401 calories and um, 61 grams of protein and you're looking at all of that we do have the salsa that we made it's gonna taste so good look at it look delicious beautiful easy i love it this one which this one is 501 calories and we're about to pour the sauce let's do this Perfect. Hey, there you go. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Do you want to try it, Milo? Sure. The chef is going to try it. It's good. The spice of the chicken combined with the um, sauce, mm -hmm. delicious. <laughs> I like it in quesadilla form too. 
with the cheese. My husband is devouring that quesadilla. <laughs> I see you. 